Travel in style with all water. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Rafi? Uh, yes? I've got a little something that I think might persuade you to help. Harold, I'm sorry, but didn't I tell you I wasn't interested at all? You did, but that was before I got this. Is that... is... Yep. The famous live recording of Mega Twitch at Werribee Sewage by the one, the only, Kutsu Hong Shiny Prize. The only record of it on the station. How did you get this? Let's just say, with a little help from my friends. Uh, I guess one of the original Fedora crew also had friends in high places to get this on board. Come on, Rafi. You get the record, and Bridget is cool. I promise she won't shout at you. <sighs> okay. Fine. Okay, my sweet. I'll be back for you soon. Hold it right there, Halibut. Ah, hey, Major. Frank isn't with you? This is official business, and I haven't yet deputized him, so he's sitting this one out. Anyway, I need to issue you a fine. What? But I've definitely not been on the wrong tube. Not tube related. It's come to my attention that you were part of some rabble rousing in the Old Water District recently. Oh, that. But surely it wasn't actually breaking any rules. Are rules all you care about? You should be a good role model to those innocent children, not filling their head with tales of adventure and rebelliousness. So I should really fine you for improper supervision of a group of minors. But, Major, it was their idea. Don't try to pass the buck. But still, given the CEO chose not to press any charges, and given how busy I am, perhaps I can let you off with a warning. That would be great. I promise to be a better influence on them in the future. See that you do, Halibut. I don't want to hear another troublesome peep out of you, especially with all our new guests around. Thank you, Major. Best behavior. You have my word. Very good. And tell Frank I say hi. I will. Carry on, Halibut, before I change my mind. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You may now exit the tube. 
Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Bridget, good news. I spoke to Rafi, and they're happy to help, more or less. Oh, great! I knew we could rely on that silver tongue of yours. Well, it was touch and go for a while. But they should be working on it right now. Good work, Harold. Oh, and Moreau gave me this probe. Ah, lovely. She mentioned she'd be working on it. As soon as we've got everything up and running here, we can let it down. Leave it with me. Et voila! Now we're cooking with gas. Great. So, what's next? We can let the probe down. Ah, oh, Harold, just think what wonders await us down there. What new marvels of alien life and power. Power? Did I say power? I meant, you know, energy. Power, juice, gas, zoom zoom, pep, get up and... Okay, I see. Yeah, I hope we find something that can help with the troubles we're having. We'll soon see. Or the probe will. Hmm. I feel like we should give it a name. This could be a momentous occasion, so the probe should have a momentous name. Proby McProberson. Okay, you... Really? No, it's fine. That sounds lovely. Is there anything else I can do? Nope. It's gonna take a while to gather enough data for a better picture. Tell you what, though. I imagine Cyrus wouldn't say no to a bit of company. Poor guy is really struggling, I think. Okay, maybe I'll drop in on him. Bye, Bridget. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. Thank you for traveling with all water. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Oh, Sai, what's up? I'm trying everything I can think of, but for weeks, the answer has eluded me. The answer to 
What's wrong with my simulation? And what's throwing off the calculations? It's like a going around in circles, because my formulae somehow can't reconcile the timings of each step, and without the proper timing, sploosh. You've got this, Sai. If it was easy, it'd me they'd got to figure it out, not you. <sighs> Look, I know I'm not an expert, but sometimes you just need an extra set of eyes. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I'm out of options at this point. You've got the Herald option. Now, where should we start? Hello, Professor. Any chance there's been some news? Harold, come here. Did you find something down there? Oh, yes. We found particles, non-normative, with fascinating variegation of valency and all sorts. Thing is, deeper you go, denser the particles get. And with enough density, something starts to warp the video feed and probe data recording. Oh, their combined energy gets strong enough to mess with the sensors. Precisely. We can only see past a certain point by measuring the velocity of the energy spikes, but it doesn't tell us much. But uh, what does it tell us? Get this. The particles lower down in their original individual form before they interact and bond are utterly unlike anything we've seen before. And when looked at as a group, they resemble the particle structure of pollen. Oh. Cyrus will be pleased. Yes, you're right, actually. Cyrus might be just the right man for the job. He's always been good with flower stuff. Also, do you think he maybe needs a bit of a change of scenery? Perhaps a change would be as good as a rest for him. A rest he can't have, I must add. So, did we find anything else down there? Harold, what's gotten into you? Not like you to be so interested in my scientific observations. Well, this stuff seems real. Well, since you ask, it seems as though the atmosphere down there contains a number of elements that we've never encountered. Alien elements? Well, yes. From what I can tell, they wouldn't kill you, but there's no telling what other effects they'd have on human physiology or neurology. Is it weird that I want to try some? Yes, very odd. Anyway, we must all get together again near the crack to discuss next steps. Go on, boy. I'll see you shortly.
All water. Moving people every day. All water. We get you where you're going. All water compliments you on your choice of destination. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest... Uh, and all water will make it up to you. Thanks for coming, everyone. We've much to discuss. Yes, much. And plans must be made. We've got to do this by the book, measure everything. The calculations must be exact. I mean, sure, but isn't time of the essence? We'll never get anything done unless we just start and see what happens. If you let me just... Oh, Cyrus. Always with the, if you let me just... Well, maybe if you ever did let me... Um, I was just thinking... If these particles really are alien, then we won't be able to properly measure everything anyway, right? And if these particles really are alien, like you say, Professor, then we're never going to be able to properly measure everything anyway. Yeah. But if we don't make sure we've measured what we can, don't let can be the enemy of is. What? That isn't how the saying goes. Anyway, look, let's start again. Evaluate our first principles. We think the particles will be the solution to our energy issue. The books were a dead end, sadly. Little more than some poetic interpretations. Jean, did the probe data reveal anything new? I'll send you the full data set. This is only a vague hypothesis, but I believe the particles might have some plant-like properties. But the probe couldn't tell us much about what it's like down the cave itself, right? Correct. There may be hazards we're unaware of. And we have only the most basic idea of the cave and the connecting tunnel's formation. So, what can we do next that will be a reliable investment of time? Hello, all. Sorry I'm late. We you. We were just recapping everything we know. Everything? Won't that take a while? Oh, huh. no, just about the cave and stuff. Oh, phew. Anywho, if we want a closer look, we're going to need to get down there somehow. That will involve measurements, a platform, or a hoist. It's systems thinking. Sounds like a job for me. You sure you're happy taking all that on? Sure. Oh, Bridget, we'll need a rope or cable that's durable enough to withstand 
whatever the particles might do to it, and cope with lots of weight either way. Got it. How hard can it be? Well, we're going to need a certain amount of flexibility in it. Huh, no, I mean, don't worry, it'll be fine. Cyrus, you take over the probe data. With your botanical expertise, maybe you'll find some details I missed. It'll have big implications for the equipment for capturing and keeping the particles safe. That's what I'll work on. Definitely. Won't whoever goes down need keeping safe too? Yes, that is a sticking point. Let's all bear in mind and come back to it when we have more data. Maybe the Flummelin will remember something useful in the meantime. What if I go down? What? Harry? I think we can all agree that isn't going to happen. Yes, Harold, it's too dangerous. Lots of other fun things to do instead, Howell. Yeah, come on, buddy. Don't be crazy. Okay, people. Then we're agreed. To your stations. We've got our work cut out for us. Uh, let me help. With something. Harold, why don't you help me? You're good with the Flummy Limb. You can liaise with Wii U and find out if there is anything they can think of to help us. Okay, sure. Let's go, Wii U. Wii U? Where did they go? Oh, I see Wii U is by the crack! What are you doing? Oh, um, just watching them. They're uh, gurpa gurping with an oobble boop. It looks fun. Is Gurpuruku... Are they trying to do something? Well, yes. But only for themselves. Oh, fun, you'd say. Oh, they're playing. Yes, they are. I noticed the fish in the oobble boops can go further down and still have fun. Oh, the fish is fine when it comes back up in an oobble boop. Oobble? Down further? And then safe? Wii U, what do you know? Um, <clears throat> what do you know about how they work? How are they made? Not much, but I could probably get a few for you. It's worth trying. If we take a couple to Moreau, she might be able to analyze the particle bonding properties and ascertain whether... Or what if we just test them now? What do you mean? No fish has ever cared before, but we could just put one little fish in an oobal, leave one out, put them both down and see how they're both doing when we pull them back up. Will you... how would you feel if I kissed you? You don't have to answer that. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a field test right now. Well, okay. I'll rustle up some oobal boops and a couple of little fish. Chum. Could we have two little fish, please? Of course. Here you go. And could we please have one ooble boop? Sure. Got your ooble pops right here. Knock yourself out. Ah, uh, no, sorry. Not the pops, the boops. Ah, uh, okay. One ooble boop coming right up. The ooble pops are good these days, too, though. That was easy. Yes, apart from the misunderstanding. An oobble pop, when we needed an oobble boop, could really have complicated things. Close one then, I guess. So, time to experiment. What could possibly go wrong? Now that we've got an oobble boop and not an oobble pop, nothing. 
So, what's the difference? That would take a lot of explaining. I'll tell you when we have more time. Okay, I look forward to it. Probably. Bridget, we've got the bubble fish. Fantastic. Wait, hang on. What's wrong? Why do you have an extra bubble and no naked fish? Isn't the point to have one of them unprotected? No. Exactly. But we, you, I mean, forgive me for being obtuse, but... I forgive you. Both of them are protected. What? Look. Oh. Ooh. One plus one equals zero? Don't worry, Wii U. That's rhetorical. Anyway, shall we tie the ropes? Okay, let's pull them out and check the results. Oh no, that one doesn't look so good. Oh dear, poor fish. I really didn't think the effects of exposure would be so severe. But we had to test. One second. Little fish is pretty dazed, but I don't think it's on fish. Yes, it's coming around. Ah. Good news! Well, like Moreau and Wii U said, going down there doesn't look like it kills. But we don't really know how fishy feels right now. True. I suppose we should keep a close eye on it. But it means the experiment was mostly a success, right? I'm happy. So now we can create bigger bubbles that we can go in. Huh, that would be awesome. But we, present company excluded, can't breathe underwater. Cyrus is going to be the best person to make use of these new findings on that front, I think. But then there's the mobility issue. We need to be able to get, stay, and maneuver down there. How about our ropes? Ooh, that would be great. Can you work with me on creating the right stuff? Of course. Great. I suppose I'll start construction of the hoist at the same time. Things are really happening. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey.
You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Hey, Cyrus, just me. We've got a great idea for the helmets. Shh! Do you hear that? I, uh, hear a lot of fuzzy static? Yes, sure. But below that... Cy, what should I be hearing? Just let me listen and follow my instructions. We'll get to the bottom of this in no time. Just a little more. Ah, better. Getting better again. Just a little more. Oh, nearly. Sounding good. Do you hear that? Or just a little more. Ah, better. Getting just a... Ah, so close. Ah, so close. Ah, so close. Ah, too far. Do you hear that? We're getting cl Ah, so close. Careful now. Ah, too far. Ah, too far. Ah, too far. Just a little more. It's getting clearer. Oh, nearly. Sounding. Do you hear that? Ah, better. Just a little. Oh, nearly. Do you hear that? Just a little more. Do you hear that? Oh, nearly. Sounding good. It's. It's beautiful. You hear it now? Like those particles are singing together, harmonizing. It's choral. I've discovered the choral particles. Particle choir? Particulars? Do you know what this means, Harold? Whatever is down there, that's the evidence that it has lots of similarities with the plant that I researched in my youth. Didn't you read the book I gave you? You gave me a book? The one I wrote. Phonetic Identities in Adolescent Seedlings. A yeah, provisional title, by the way. Uh, just ended up sticking. So, you know that by hearing this choir sound? How does that relate to... It's all connected. This very specific sound pattern, this melody, music is math, math is nature. John will be happy about these results. Awesome. I can't wait to tell her. Oh, hi, Professor. Hello, you two. What's going on? We were just talking about Cyrus's new findings. The music is plant math. What? Marrow. Yes, I discovered that the audio samples actually reveal an even greater affinity between the particles and sentient plant life. It vindicates my earlier theory, too. The one in my book. That is interesting. So, what's your opinion on the energy container's necessary properties? Hmm, well, it makes me think the container will need the option for water flow and or some kind of nutrition bed. Might need light control and something to attract the particles into it, too. And... Hmm. Given that we don't know the energy potential, and given that pollen can... Sigh! Sigh! That's enough to go on for for now, I think. Good thinking, though. I'll handle it from here. Maybe asbestos will do the trick. Say, Harold, didn't you want to tell me something earlier? Uh, before we got swept up in the excitement. Oh, it's the water bubbles. Our experiment was great. We found the bubbles to have protective qualities. The bubblefish came back totally happy. Oh. That is interesting, but did you have a control group? <laughs> what? Yes. One fish went down without a bubble. I'll tell you all the details later. Sigh.
Can you work with those bubbles? Find a way to adapt them for human usage? I mean, it's not like I don't have anything else to do, but sure, I'll figure it out. Maybe some kind of double hoop glaze with bubble film. Hey, what happened to the other fish, by the way? It was a bit confused by the whole thing. I should see if we can thank it somehow. You always did have a soft spot for fishy friends, huh, Harold? I guess so. Nice to have one that can talk back. Okay, let's get back to it. Good work, you two. Go team! <laughs>